Welcome back. It was a big announcement yesterday. Longtime Hoop Fest director Matt Santangelo announced he is stepping down. Santangelo has been at the helm of Hoop Fest for the last seven years. He says not to worry and stepping down isn't foreshadowing anything for the event. He just needed a change of venue. I think the overall sentiment is just gratitude, you know, gratitude for the opportunity to have um, played a role like this in the community. The name Matt Santangelo will always be attached to basketball in Spokane. Since 2014, though, he's doubled down on that legacy, guiding our city's most prominent basketball event. I've been in many locker rooms in my lifetime. I've been on a lot of successful teams. Um, few work as hard as this one, if any, if any of them. But Santangelo says it was time for him to go. He says there's no nefarious reasons why he's stepping down and not to worry about the future of Hoop Fest. It's coming back next year. Like that's a big, that's a big thing, and, and we got to make it special. He's just ready for a new game to conquer, as he'll be transitioning to a job with Baxter International in medical device sales. At this point, while looking around as to what my next personal step is and professional step, where is the opportunity? You know, what do I want to learn? Where's the challenge? Um, and certainly this job, especially the last 18 months, had plenty of challenges. Um, but really, it's about kind of that taking that next step to, for personal growth. Um, and, un, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, that meant taking a step away from HoopFest. Santangelo's legacy with the event will include getting ESPN to do Sports Center from HoopFest in 2015, having Kevin Durant attend in 2017, and establishing the Hooptown USA brand, a brand all about what Spokane has accomplished as a basketball city. When I first got started, HoopFest was already the greatest three on three in the world. Like in 2014, it was the largest of its kind, um, and hands down. It was already a world class event. And so even when I transitioned into leadership, I kind of looked at it, you could look at it one of two ways. One is don't mess it up. Like it only has one direction to go and that's down, right? Um, that could have been one, certainly was a perspective. Uh, the perspective I took was like, they're giving me the keys of the Ferrari. Let's go see what it can do. Now he'll get to see what it can do from a different perspective as he plans to be a court monitor at future Hoop Fest. It's going to be awesome because now I, you know, you appreciate it so much uh, before you kind of see behind the curtain. And now I've seen behind the curtain. So I think it almost gives you a, a deeper sense of, of appreciation for what it is. Matt says he'll still be around for the event to lean on as well for advice. And he has a great analogy for how he envisions that role. It'll be like going from a parent to a, a grandparent. Like I can come in and give everyone sugar and then I can bounce, you know, as, as opposed to having to manage it all as the uh, first parent. So maybe that part will be uh, a little bit nice as, as to where it goes going forward. Matt said that the applications for his job are up online right now, okay. so they are hoping to get somebody in soon to fill that role. Don't get any ideas, Brenna. Yeah. <laughs> good call. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, it's a, big, good. it's a big shoes to fill, though, for wherever it is, because he brings the Gonzaga connection, the connection mm -hmm. to Spokane, yes. and, you know, it's obviously a good role for him. Yes. Well, and you look back at the last seven years, he's made quite an impact. You know, if yeah. you once you look back, you realize right. how much he really did do in that role. The brand of HoopFest has expanded so mm -hmm. much under under him, and, and I think that it's become, you know, it was, it was really well known regionally, but maybe not nationally. Now it's, I think it's known nationally yeah. and, may, and, and maybe globally as well. Yeah. Well, I wish him the best of luck in his future. Yes, Thanks, absolutely. Brother.